Starbucks rock and have a body you got Zambro QR Starbucks. Okay, just kidding, just kidding. I'm really bad at um, impersonating Zamrock. I don't know why I tried that. Shout out to Zamrock the God though. I don't know why I, have to, why I had to do that. <laughs> don't hate on me when you hear this. Um, Zamrock's really cool actually. Um, we are here with EO versus McMagan for FPL. And it's nice and for him. And hey, I'm here and I just stayed up to bring you guys the content. I'm really tired. so <sighs> I might fall asleep during the match. I'm um, making bringing a Volcarona, which is a really cool mon. No Duck Tree has support to trap uh, Tyranitar, so. Hmm. I guess we have like a weather war going on between Politoed and Tyranitar, and. I'm thinking what the. The rock on EOS team would be, and I'm thinking it's. Uh, Probably Rock Slanderous. What the fuck are they talking here? I just I didn't even read what they're talking about. Damn, they're wild. Like, M Megan has to weaken the the Tyranitar and. I think he has rain, so his Volcarona doesn't even hit the Jirachi super effective. Um, this is probably sub bulk up. I could see us having. Just double stab, but if it has. Ice punch, that would be clutch for Mad Man. They're like really talking here because there's no more chat. And someone please said more chat. Alright, Eo was forced to break the sub with Earthquake. Max Attack uh, Landris might break the sub with U turn, but. It doesn't break the sub, so yeah, I wouldn't have. I don't know if I would have made that play. So he breaks them to go for Ice Punch and U turns into Jirachi. Ooh, okay, he has Ice Punch. Okay, so that's a good play on his part then, but the sub is still there, so... He's probably going to U-turn again, and... Uh, Megan goes for Focus Punch. Oh, he's, he's just going for T-Bolt. Yeah, I don't know why I thought he would U-turn again. I thought for some reason this would probably, like, knock off, but yeah. We're here in Gen 5 where knockoff is really weak. Uh, I don't see that Megan staying in here. t bolt Jirachi is interesting. Might be, might be expert build. Um, now we already saw leftovers of Jirachi. Okay, never mind. It's probably HP fire. Yeah. It's a nice play by Megan not going Ferrothorn. <laughs> Risk of it while Corona sweeps GG. I mean, you could have like T Wave on Alakazam to check this, or he could have. Like, Kelly also lose a hit, but I assume this might be Hurricane Volcarona since Megan has rain support, so Kelly's not even a good switch in. Like, if he has Bug Bus, Hurricane. Nothing can really come in, but I'm like thinking if it would have like a fire move because it's on rain. A fire move on rain would be really weird in my opinion, but it could still have a fire move as an option since uh, he can predict the opponent to bring weather like uh, you did. Oh, he just went for bug but That did nothing. Is that some assault vest shit? I know there's no assault vest out in black and white, but why did that do nothing? It's super effective, I did not realize. 
It's not super effective. Stop lying. So I don't think this is I don't think this is banter because they had nothing. Oh yeah, early game I was thinking it was like Rox Lando, but Cheetah is also like an option as a rocker, obviously I didn't even think about that. I don't know why he didn't pursuit the the Volcarona, he probably doesn't have pursuit then. What would he have on the Caesar? Maybe ice. Nah, no, if he had ice beam. Hmm. He could have gone for it there, but there's no way he predicts it. He predicts it when a Volcarona is out and goes for ice beam. Like, you either go for Stone Edge if you predict the Volcarona to stay, and now you probably go for Pursuit if you predict the Volcarona to stay. Switch. But yeah, I think he doesn't have to see that, no. I'm not really sure if this game matters for the series. B2 said he's gonna play whenever Adam gets online, which is like crazy because the dude has like college. And it's like 3 a.m. for him now, and for me it's 4 a.m. I mean, it's crazy for me too. But... I mean, I got some stuff to do tomorrow, but no college. Um... <laughs> Oh yeah, he went for Spore. Mm. I always forget that you can put grass types to sleep in Gen 5 and below. He's probably just gonna burn like a sleep turn because what is Among Us doing? He just wakes up first turn and gets a rock. Pretty nice for Mang since Eo doesn't have hazard control. So this might be Fireblast teacher, which would explain why I didn't have pursuit earlier. But I kind of feel like I have seen Eos team before. I think Alakazam runs some sort of hidden power in Gen 5, because hidden power is like 70 base power in Gen 5. It get nerfed after that. So can okay, Megan probably was like had the mindset of um, he can probably take a Fireblast even if Tita had that. And he just wants the Tita dead or weaken so his Volcarona can put in the work. So I can uh, completely understand Meng's play. Um, I don't like black and white spreads though. <laughs> like some of them are cool but some are just really whack. Politoed looks like super stupid in black and white in my opinion. Not Politoed. I meant the other frog, my bad. I meant the toxic frog. <laughs> when you struggle so hard, you don't even know anymore how the Pokemon are called because you're so tired. They call me nice 4 17 am in the morning. Hmm. This is like gonna be really nice for you guys. Hmm. But you will have like a lot of SPL coverage over the upcoming days. I mean, I also did this last week, but this week's gonna be crazy. Even though some of the some of the matches that I recorded today on Sunday are uh, not narrated that well in my opinion. Like, you know, I don't know if it's because of lack of sleep or there were some boring hours matches where I didn't really know what to comment on. But there was some like Sun Moon games that were pretty cool. So okay, what happened here? I mean, Hydro Pump Myth and Among Us, I don't know if you can, how much that was done. Probably not not a 2 KO, but some Polytoads run Scarf. So I was considering like a potential Hydro Pump into Ice Beam might have killed, but prob probably not. So, I mean, Myth is obviously still annoying, but Among Us has regenerated anyway. 
So what I was thinking earlier is you probably predicted him to go um, Landris and to break t -Bolt, or why did he go to Among Us? Nah, just, just to take the water move, yeah. Obvious, obvious play. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, he went from Ferrothal and Toad on the on the Jiraj and then he went back into Among Us. Yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense. But this substitute, uh, Toxic is like kind of surrendering. Um, I'm starting to believe that it's um, not bulk up though, because it's probably like substitute three attacks. I feel like it probably has a poison move in the last shot. It, it, it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to. Maybe it has bulk up, maybe it has. What other option is there? Like, knockoff is not really an option in Gen 5 because it's such weak base power, such low base power. I mean, it's all, it's only an option for utility to get rid of items, but weather being like permanent is really interesting. Since um, Smogtros are start in March, Smogtros are starting in March, and the tiers going to be played there are Black and White, Sun and Moon, and RSOU. So yeah, I'm going to like, hopefully by then. I'm more confident in Sun and Moon, uh, I mean black and white, and can commentate these matches better for you guys. Cause there's gonna be like deciding black and white games where it would be better if my commentary would be on point and not if I have to like <laughs> struggle like this and wow. Um, Meng is a really good position that focus punch the 5 million to the Jirachi. And I don't even think Jirachi has a move to kill this. Um, let's, let's think what the, what would the other moves be. He, I guess he could have Psychic. T-Bolt, HP Fire. Maybe Icy Wind. For Landris. And I don't know the last move that would run. Like, it's either Psychic. Oh, we predicted the Landris there as a crit. Or what did he predict? I'm not sure what he predicted there. Oh yes, Sucker Punch! That's huge for McMagn. I didn't even think about Sucker Punch. <laughs> Finchin in the chat. McMagn! <laughs> Wrapping it up. Like, that's huge because he kills the Jirachi and keeps this up. So he probably gets another kill with this. And I don't see how EO comes back from this. Like, McMagn has rocks up. Like, I could learn a lot from McMagan like in all the gens. That boy knows. Like, I don't know why I didn't consider Sucker Punch as an option, because the Politoed I ran in Oris had Drain Punch. I think Gunk Shot. And then it had Sucker Punch and either Ice Punch or Sword Stance, yeah, so I don't know why. Sucker Punch didn't even cross my mind. Does Toxic Rock even learn? Learn knockoff. I feel like I was talking crap earlier. Like I think it learns knockoff, but I don't want to talk crap. So I'm gonna check, double check. Um, does this like? Why did he bring this out? He's probably sashed. Cause he would have. He would just die to sucker punch. Oh, he has substitute on it on his own. But I I don't, I don't think so. I like him. Yeah, talk to the girl, come on. Sucker punch. Uh, knock off, I mean. Just make it sure. Not many such as realized I was cutting hyper pumps in silent moon mode. I mean. Yeah, I mean, Megan, stop him. Stop him. Predict him to go for something that's not an attacking move. And now Megan can go. Like, if Batman gets this 50-50 correct and keeps the substitute up, he gets it correct, he just goes for sucker first turn. <laughs> he tries to predict uh, Batman to attack again. <laughs> so the <laughs> Toxic Crook keeps the substitute up. 
Kelly breaks the set, but Kelly is gonna get blown away by this focus punch. Oh my god, he just died. Um, I guess the crit might have mattered. But why well, is Toxic Crook such a king in this game? Like this thing is getting some for sure. And I love how like McMang makes such a godly plays. It makes up for my bad commentary. That's pretty funny to me. Lol. And Blonda said, bro, I told you this croaker. Five, five kills minimum per fucking game. I hate this mom like anything. And he saves it. He saves the mascot. Let's go. I don't know why I call it the mascot, but the one that puts in the world. Hard EQ. Stop him. Hard land on the EQ, I mean. He's going to use on here or HBIs? Did I run HBIs? Okay, he's double dancer or something. I don't know if Lana was HBIs was a thing in Gen 4. Probably pretty rare. Ooh, superpower too. Ooh, fighting gym superpower. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he trying to 6 0 him? Mang is such a savage. I don't know if it was last week or the week before where he played versus Shocker and he completely destroyed that boy. Hard polytot and rock polish. Wait, this lit set is from Jirachi. Which set? The Landris one? Oh, yeah, I think he's talking about the Landris set. Wait, U turn rock polish? That's some set I would like joke about. Like. If I would make fun of a potential wing that doesn't exist, I would say, when they reveal Rocky Hammer with u -turn, I would say, like, just for fun, oh, what if he's rock polished with off grade? And store as a u turn. <laughs> that's a lit set to bluff the. I guess that's to bluff that you're not. that you like scarf or something, the u turn, and you like reveal a rock polish like him, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it didn't do much work. The crook, the crooks, the toxic crook stole the entire show this game. That shoot in the five. Watch his ice beep. Bob. Okay, he just goes for skull. Maybe he doesn't have ice beep because I didn't see a reason not to ice beep there. It's a burn. And okay, there goes the six zero oh, rip. Before Corona is in. Um, is he gonna finish this off with um, HP Ice? Oh my gosh. I saw with Hurricane or something. That's a cash set to hit guard jump and stuff, yeah. Oh, nice Giga Drain. <laughs> nice 4%. Okay, it was a 5-0. I mean, that's fair, I guess. At least he let you kill one man. <laughs> Savage. Ah, oh, he just forfeits. He doesn't want to give him the satisfaction of killing his amongst. So, yeah, I hope you guys still enjoy. Don't want to make this too long. I will have. I think Ray Scarface is still playing, but I'm not sure. I just know um, P2 is playing. Whereas this Adam for someone? Oh, you wish is exciting. I hope I don't fall asleep. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Show some nice support if you want me to keep doing this SPL coverage and I will see you next time. Peace out friends.